Okay, you guys can go ahead. You got the A, okay. Budger is Chuck. Hatmaster is on her. Okay, we got an exciting match on our hand, everyone. Let's do this. Let's get some excitement. This is it, everyone. This is history. This is the first ever Tournament of Power Grand Final Tournament. Bands, let's take a look at the bands real quick. We got Medusa on the side of Hatmaster. We got Medusa, Neath, Anubis, and Baron. And on, on the side of Budger, we got Ymir, Zonkui, Huyi, and Kali. Alright, thank you for the 500, Papa. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Alrighty, chat. Let's do this. The grand Finals. Good luck to both of them. May the best man win. <sighs> Hatmaster with the first auto. Budger was going with more. Okay, so they both went with the attacker's blessing. I like the start. I like the start. Okay, good poke by, by Budger. Taking minion aggro, but he does have pretty much unlimited heal. If he uses his auto attacks. Okay, so good. Budger is out pressuring him. Hat is getting poked out really hard here. Jock does have better early game uh, poke. So this is round one. Ooh, Hatmaster is getting really out poked here early game. Budger keeping up that pressure. Makes sense. Doesn't even. Okay. Decent poke by Hat. Good impale. Okay. Alright. Budger being forced to use almost all of his potions when Hat hasn't even used those two left. Although Budger still has heals, he's probably going to be able to pressure red here. Shock is definitely going to have the early game pressure here. Oh. That is crazy. Oh my god, Budger's just rocking it with full HP. Budger is just not missing an axe. Budger's not here to play. Good poke. Oh. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. Oh my god, that was so tense. I couldn't tell he was going to die right there. Oh. Budger going for the one. Budger out sustaining him by a long or by a landslide here. Both still having their relics. Budger waiting for the bait. Going for the one. Okay. Option to poke him out. I respect it. Ulting the wave. And able to poke him out. Might actually be able to outpressure him here. With the archers on his side. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to outpressure red here. Surprisingly, Hatmaster managed to turn that around. That was a really that was a really nice ult. Budger opting to give up red. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Budger trying his best to keep up that passive. Budger still does have Bracer up. Ooh. Hat's out pressure now here. Oh, Hat's gonna have to back off now. Budger gets red. Alright. Out pressuring red. Okay, 1,000 viewers for the final. Alright, both. Alright, they're backing both level 6. Budger out pressure red. Not a huge surprise that he did outpressure him early game. Um, Hatmaster opting to rush boots before he goes into his transcendence, which makes sense if he isn't if he even is building it. I respect the transcendence rush on, uh, on Chuck. If that makes sense. He's able to poke him out really easily. Doesn't really have to rely on mobility and juking him as much as Hatmaster does. So, <clears throat> yo, Mini, thank you for the prime sub man. Welcome to the stream. Hatmaster poking him out really well. Are we at 1k viewers? Did we hit 1k viewers for the first time ever? My opulence. Are we? Close. Oh, what the? Weird impale. Oh! Oh my! The closest! Oh my god, that engagement! Holy crap, can we watch that one more time? One more time, let's quickly gloss over this. What just happened? It looks like the impale was a little bugged here. So it looks like Hatmaster ran around the side, hit an impale, which kind of glitched, I think. 
Watch out with the. Kind of hit the side of that, I guess. Good auto cancel into the old fly hacks. Ledger ult's perfect timing so that hat can't even get a jump off. Auto cancels into the one. Almost gets that last auto off. What a close engagement, man. Holy crap, this is intense. Oh my god, this game is so intense. Alright, so Budger's continuing to keep the pressure up. Out clearing the minions. Rotating to his own blue, or just backing. Hatmaster is going to miss some creeps. Budger ends up winning that engagement. Hopefully getting his transcendence online as soon as possible. I think we tier one sub mini. See, now that he has his transcendence online, he's going to start outscaling um, the on her because he's going to have transcendence on the stacking before the on her does. So, it's going to put him in a bit of an awful spot here. <laughs> 1k viewers! 1,000 viewers for the viewers grand pod. finals. Holy crap, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This is hype as absolute hell. I never expected this much hype for my first tournament ever. Oh my lord, thank you all for stopping by, guys. We get some pog champs in the chat. All right, so both ults are down. Actually, Fudgers might be up. Thank you, chat, for being super active today. Fudgers ult's gonna come up beforehand. Pretty sure he has to. Oh, that might have actually a pretty red though. Yeah, I think Honor definitely wins this late game, so Butter is gonna have to keep up the pressure. But he is gonna, like I said, actually end up outscaling him um, with transcendence and all that. So if he keeps up the pressure and continues to get the buffs. He should be able to snowball against him a little bit. As you can see, he's still a level ahead and everything. And he's up pressuring him like crazy. So as long as he keeps this up, he should be in a decent spot. Um, late game is going to get proved to be even more difficult for him. Especially when he gets that anti long Okay. Oh, unfortunately choking on the impale. But you're using the slow. Oh my god, that one chunks with that transcendence. He's forced to back out. Ulting the archers. Okay, smart. Front two were only like one hit each, so he decided to ult the archers there so that Budger would take aggro, forcing him to back off. But Budger was cool with that because he does get red for free. Smart move by him. Hey, it's Load, MEU, and it's 0 31 here. Can you please give me the fourth place gym prize after the first round? I have to sleep whole. I'm. You. I'm, I, oh my. Okay, wait, stop. You'll get the gems. I'm not the one sending you the gems, man. I will get high risk to send them to you. Just Twitter whisper me and I will. Ooh. Twitter whisper me and send me your IGM. Well, just do this after that, please. Alright, close engagement by both of them. Hats still looking to fight. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Hat's getting a place. Hat deciding to rush defense before transcendence and attack speed Interesting choice. I understand it, though. It is going to put him a bit behind in damage, and Budger's going to be able to outpressure that really hard. Because Budger has two things going for him right now. Number one, he has sustain in his kit. This and with Bracer. Number two, he's got more power, and he's going to have defense online at the same time. So although... Hatmaster's gonna have defense online before him. The second Budger gets any form of defense online, his, his damage is just gonna outscale the living shit out of him. I've already showed the bay at the beginning. Good bit by Hat. So first person right there. Budger not giving an absolute shit. Okay, good jump by Hat. So once Budger gets some defense online, he's gonna be in a perfect spot here. Budger's gonna go and take his blue, and I think he has enough for second tier defense, maybe? That, along with his base protection, Spudger is going to be in a really good spot. Here. Level 11, Hat's currently level 10. No first blood just yet. Spudger's still in the lead, though. Oh, if he gets that slow off. Oh, he might have had him there. Could be baiting him back. Ooh, he's looking for that ult. You know he is. Ledger maintaining all the pressure he can. Hat taking advantage of that. Hat jumps back up. Ledger's in an awkward spot. Ooh! Hat saving the jump. He's smart, good ult. Good bracer. Oh, and he impaled. Oh my god. Holy shit. 
These guys are on another level right now. Oh my god, that was so tense. Fudge are keeping the pressure up. Not allowing him to get that XP, but Hatmaster is aggressive, really going in for it. Good impale. Good you. Ooh! The healing might be too much, and that's first blood. Unfortunately, he dies, but that is still first blood, and... Um, Hat is going to miss almost an entire wave, so that is a complete benefit for Budger right there. That works out in his favor. That is first blood going to Budger. God, those engagements were so tense, man. That one under the, the... Like, right here, when, like... Oh, my God. That was so intense. That was sick. That was butt-clenching as hell. I'm so glad we're having these type of games, man. Every single game so far has been so fun. It hasn't been just, like, one person tower camping and nothing happening. It's just action and... High-level plays, man. I'm loving this. This is going very well. That master getting up pressure. Okay, nice impale. He can't keep up with the damage. Like I said, once we get, once they got to the, once they got to this point, he did decent in the previous game. Now Budger just has too much pressure. But Hat just doesn't give a fuck about that pressure. Budger sustain is just too much to handle right now. Hat is going to have to get some, some anti-heal online ASAP because the further this goes along without him having anti-heal, the worse of a position Hat's in. Ooh, alright. Good jump by Hat. Budger swinging at the air. Good thorns. Depression him. Hat pops his sprint. Budger still with the crazy pressure here. Fortunately, Hatmaster whiffs that. This best of three? Yes. This is the first match of the best of three. <clears throat> the later this goes on until they get anti-heal, Budger's going to have the advantage. But the second they get late game, Hatmaster is going to have the advantage. So Budger has to do something soon. Probably get his tower. Try and pressure that out. His brace is up now. Deciding not to invade his blue or anything. I would have I would have personally went for Hatmaster's blue buff uh, since his ult was down. Pressure that out so that he had a choice whether to go to the wave and get that XP or defend his own blue buff. And then I could just back off, rotate to my own blue, back, and then make it back to the next wave. I think would have been the proper. <laughs> would have zoned him out of some XP and, you know, potentially really helped him out. Roger saving his heal for the slow to try and get some yeah, secure on the abilities. Okay. That sustains the advantage. There's the one, unfortunately. So far, very well played by both of these guys. Holy crap, I'm just being impressed left and right. I did not expect this match to be so intense. Wish that. Good jump I had. Nice and fail by half. Just does not have time for any of Budger's shit. Budger just throwing axe left and right. Hatmaster slowly but surely stacking up that transcendence, getting closer and closer to the power gap. That is missing between them. And then he's gonna go, I think that's an exe, and then most likely into a crusher or maybe I don't think you want to go beat stick on, on her. I think it talks about you. His sustain is still a lot to deal with. Budger deciding not to go to Mian, which is nice, especially for the tower pressure, which he needs early game. Because if he gets the Mian, then he's going to be aggroed on for the tower. And he's going to try and out-pressure that tower as early as possible, because the later this goes, like I said, it's going to be worse for him. So, and cooldown is better in general, so. No Budger to win? I'm not rooting for anybody. Both of them are my friends. I'm just casting a, a very intense and fun game. But they're going straight for the tower. Pressuring out Hatmaster. Forcing at the thorns. Saving his jump for the last minute. Still enough movement speed gets his Aegis off. Alright. That is a win for Budger. Because his abilities come up. He's backing. Okay, smart. Unfortunately, creeps probably aren't going to take that. Thorns are up before his Aegis. He got his Aegis off. 
Um, he's backing there. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to get the tower, I don't think. But it's gonna be super low. Not enough for it to be a real issue anyway. And he's gonna be back in time for red, hopefully. Hatmaster might try and pressure the set as fast as possible, though. Oh, he sees Budger on the prowl. <laughs> Nope, get out of here. As he is definitely not worth it. No. It's not worth compared to any other different items he could get. He can get percentage pen. He can get anti-heal. Um, there's just too many items that are more worth than getting life steal in this situation. Especially at any point, Budger could easily just get anti-heal and completely run that item and still have the advantage of having, you know, healing as well as, you know, defense for no percentage pen, etc. Uh, Master doing some damage now, though. Getting those transcendent stacks up. Diesel, thank you for the host, man. I'll be a good stream. Butter out pressuring the red. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Butter's getting much off of this, though. They're both level 16. Oh. Using. Oh, Butter almost had. To Oh my god, Budger using the CC immunity of the ult to get past the honor slow and getting his tower once and for all. Hopefully going... Okay, he's going straight for red. Okay. Level 17 now. Both of Hatmaster's relics are down and Budger's going to have both up now. This is the pressure that he needs. Hopefully going for that blue buff. Yeah, I agree with how Hat is building. Unfortunately for Hat, loses the blue. What do you guys think about the camera movements? Should I follow? Should I follow one person, or do you like the the switching back and forth and the, the just sort of following the map itself? Which do you guys prefer? Hat Master deciding to go for minis while Budger goes for blue. Budger keeping up the pressure. Go top down. Roar. <laughs> I don't know what top down is. Is that like like this? <laughs> the whole time. I'm just kind of switching it between. I think it's good for now. That's the best camera angle. It's kind of hard to follow them right now, and I think they're probably so. Budger with all of the pressure. Holy crap. And going oh, interrupts his jump. And his relics active are down. Oh, shit. Good ult by Budger in the middle of his ability. Silences him out. That is perfect. That's exactly what he needed. Like I said, Hatmaster's relics were down. That was the perfect opportunity. That is a Phoenix down for Hatmaster. Well played by Budger, like I said. Using that pressure effectively. Getting that Phoenix. Okay, or taking it stuff again, that Phoenix. Hatmaster has to stick it out until he can get to that late, late game if he wants a chance here. Alright, he's only at the very beginning of level 17. He is a, quite a bit behind. He sells his ult, he can use that in waves. It looks like Bludger's opting to go a Crusher here, I'm assuming. Which is probably the play, as well as double defense. I think Bludger's build is perfect here. He's really got to try and pressure this out. Alright. Thank you for all the viewers, by the way, guys. Welcome. This is the semifinals of my dual tournament. And it has been quite the tournament. That match is going to focus really hard on these waves here. Budger might just go straight for the pressure. Doesn't look like it, though. Why is he not getting anti-heal? Um, maybe he thinks that because he has double defense, he's not really optimal here. I would have personally went, maybe if he, maybe a Titan, ooh, he's deciding to go into the Azzy, okay. Hmm, I don't like that choice. I think he definitely should have went into something else, so he's most likely going to be going back to his Titan back and forth. I think pure damage would have definitely been the play here. Unless he plans on pushing up. Late game, maybe Azzy will do more for him. But now, Budger can easily switch that item into a beat stick if he feels like it. As he stop, stop, stop judging how I say Azzy. But that's the problem. Budger could easily just switch that into a beat stick if he feels like it, which could drastically screw over half. And 
this build. Oh my god, you're all judging me now. No! <laughs> Asai. Azzy. I call it Azzy, okay? Whatever. Stop judging. Okay, alright. <clears throat> so, hat getting closer and closer to that late game, which is, like I said, um, the only thing I was worried about for Budger. But is what hat has to do. I'm curious what he's gonna build last year. Probably a Toxic Blade, but he could also use Double Pen. I would switch out that Azzy uh, Asai for a Titan Spade or something. I think probably would be the play. Like I said, Budger switched that out for a beat stick like I thought he would. Thank you for the gift of sub killer and thank you only for the prime sub. Budger pressuring it out, using the healing to his advantage, since Hat does not have anti heal. Hat taking a lot of damage, using that healing uh, attack speed item. <laughs> Deciding not to back, trying to defend that Phoenix. Using his attack speed healing item <coughs> to try and defend that Phoenix of this, which is smart. This is what he has to do. Butter using his healing as best as he can. He gets this impale. Oh, I think he should have ulted that wave. I think Hash should have ulted that wave. Hash should have definitely ulted that wave. Well, it looks like Butter's backing off. He got his Phoenix again, now he can back and get himself a 500 potion, upgrade his relics. Hat is probably going to hit 19 off of this wave. He's getting closer and closer. Once he gets Toxic Blade online, he might be able to switch things around, but the Double D is still maybe too much. I think he went the, the Attack Speed Healing item <coughs> uh, because of the Nemean, and he thought he could outheal it. But I think he should switch it over for Titan's Bane here. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Zving, he definitely should have used that ult on the wave there, especially to try and save that Phoenix and pressure him out at least a little bit. <clears throat> a monument to my this is the last stand for half here. Okay, he's got Toxic Blade online. Titan is aggroing. Budger is going all out though. Budger ulting. Going straight for him. And Brace during the Titan. It looks like that's game one, everybody, of the best of three. Game one goes to Budger. I didn't press against time. Oh, shoot, man. GG's. Well played by both of them. That is game one. Game one goes to Budger. I expected nothing less. Goodbye. Okay, there you go. I did it for you. There we go. That is game one. Hats off to Budger for winning. Congratulations. Well played by both of the players. Let's end the